Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Friday, February 16th, 2024. Today we're going to recap the NBA games from yesterday and look ahead to All-Star Weekend and make some picks. NHL and college basketball, we have soccer, golf, NASCAR, the start of American Idol, news and notes, and best bet. We'll start with the NBA um, because of All-Star Weekend. Um, we'll look back on yesterday's games, look at the All-Star Weekend. Grizzlies over the Bucks, 113-110 as the Bucks drop to 3-7 and seven under Doc Rivers. Warriors over the Jazz, 140-137, to and the T-Wolves kill the Blazers, 128-91. All right, before we get to the All-Star game, we, of course, have all of the festivities this weekend. Um, so, the Rising Scars, um, so there's Team Pow. Team Tamika, Team Jalen, and Team Detlef. Um, I'm going to pull up um, the uh, rosters right now. Um, so, um, we have... Team Pow is Victor Wembanyama, Brandon Miller, Hamai Hakez, Jabari Smith, Brandon Podzimski, Casey Laws, and Bilal Kalabali. The honorary coach is Pau Gasol. Jalen Rose's team, Chad Holmgren, Derek Lively, Jarrett Michonne, Jalen Williams, Benedict Mathurin, Shaden Sharp, Jordan Hawkins, and Walker Kessler. Team Tamika coached, or head honorary coach Tamika Catchings, Paula Banchero, Keegan Murray, Jaden Ivey, Dyson Daniels injured, replaced by Vince Williams Jr., Scoot Henderson, Keontae George, and Jalen Duran. And by the way, Shane was an injury replacement for Shane and Sharp. And then uh, Team Detlef, honorary coach Detlef Shrimp, um, Ron Holland of G League Ignite injured, replaced by Amani Bates, um, Izan Almansa of G League Ignite, Matas. Luzelis of G League Ignite, Tyler Smith of G League Ignite, Oscar Shibway of it, the Indiana Mad Ants, Mac McClung of the Escola Magic, and the um Seuss Falls Sky Forces, Alondas Williams. Um I'm not a f- big fan of Team Detlef. Um, so they're gonna play Team Pow at ten, but at nine it's gonna be Team Jalen and Team Tamika. Those are Two really, really good teams. I think Team Pow is even a good team as well. Um, you can make a case for anybody on the best, the like the best player on the court. But I think I like Team Jalen, so I'll take Team Jalen plus a two and a half and even money. And then Team Pow, I'm gonna lay to five and a half. Um, they're just more talented, all the good rookies, and then you have Jabari Smith of the Rockets. So I'm gonna lay to five and a half there. And then the NBA Rising Char- Stars champion. I'm going to go at Team Jalen at plus 310. And then I think that the MVP of this, so if they give one out, is going to be Jalen Williams of the Oklahoma City Thunder. I'm high on him, and I think that he's going to show out. So I'm going to say Team Jalen for the Rising Stars champion at plus 310. And in the celebrity game, which is going to be played prior to it at 7 o'clock at Lucas Oil Stadium, Team Shannon against Team Stephen A. Team Shannon is Micah Parsons, Connor Daly, Quincy Isaiah, Jewel Lloyd, Kai Sinat, Dylan Wong, Lily Singh, Sir Walker Hayes, and Annual Double A. And then the assistant coaches are Peyton Manning and 50 Cent. And Steve, uh, Stephen A. Smith's team, assistant coach is um, Aja Wilson and Lil Wayne. You have Jennifer Hudson. Um, Meta World Peace changed his name again. Um, Meta Sandiford Artest. Let's just call him Ron Artest. That's who he is in NBA circles. 
turned into Meta World Peace. Jack Ryan, AJ McLean, CJ Stroud, Kwame on Milwaukee, um, Natasha Cloud, Adam Blackstone, and Gianmarco Timberry. Um, I think Shannon Sharp has the better team. Jewel Lloyd's on it. Certainly helps when you have a WNBA player that knows what they're doing. So I'm going to take Team Shannon in the Celebrity All-Star game. And then on Saturday, we have Stefan versus Sabrina. So Stephen Curry against Sabrina Ionescu. That is going to be funny. Steph Curry's by a suit three. Ionescu's plus 176. Steph Curry should win that. The skills challenge. Um, You have Team Pacers, Tyrese Halliburton, Benedict Mathur, and Miles Turner. Team Top Pick. That's awesome. Paolo Banchero, Anthony Edwards, and Victor Wembayama. And Team All-Star, Scotty Barnes, Tyrese Maxey, and Trey Young. Um, I am going to go Team Top Pick. Team Top Picks in their favorite at plus 140. I like that a lot. I think Wemby is going to really shine here. The three-point contest. You have Malik Beasley, Jalen Brunson, Tyree Talliburton, Damian Lillard, Lori Markinen, Donovan Mitchell, Carl Anthony Towns, and Trey Young. Um, so, um, I think the best value on the board, there's two. Donovan Mitchell and Jalen Brunson, they're both each... Plus 750. They're both having good years from through shooting from three. And both of those guys have been lights out the whole season. So I'm going to go with, I know if I take Brunson, that's going to be like Nick's bias, I know. But I'm feeling it's going to be Donovan Mitchell. I'm going to say plus 750 for Donovan Mitchell. And Carl Towns at 7-1 is good as well. In the slam dunk contest, you have Jalen Brown, Hame Hawkes, Mac McClung, and Jacob Toppin. Uh, Mac McClung, I feel like, wins this every year. Um, I don't see the odds for the dunk contest. But I'm going to say Mac McClung wins this. And then the All-Star game, you have the East against the West. The West is a three-point favorite, total is 362.5. Um, so Doc Rivers um, against Chris Finch. Um, so the West is obviously the better roster. From top to bottom, you would think. But a lot of those guys I don't know are going to try. And I don't know if some of those guys are going to be happy to be there. And there's going to be a lot of guys in the East who are first-time All-Stars that are going to be happy to be there. Um, so I do think the East will try. No Embiid is a big loss. So who's going to start in place of him? It's probably what they should do is move Giannis to center. Jason Tatum, the power forward. But that wouldn't make sense. I'm talking myself in the Jalen Brunson, but. What they sh- will probably do is make Bam out of bio the starting center. So, um, I am going to take the East getting the three and plus 126. All-star game MVP. This is where I may show a little bit of uh, bias. Jalen Brunson is 32-1. to one. I think he is going to embrace being there. He should have been on the all-star team last year. So I'm going to take Jalen Brunson at 32-1. to They'll be the All-Star Game MVP. And I'm going to take the East getting three points. Okay, now move on to the NHL. 
We will go over yesterday's results and look ahead to tonight and the rest of the weekend. Kraken over to Bruins, 4-1. Rangers over to Habs, 7-4. Panthers over to Sabres, 4-0. Leafs over to Flyers, 4-3 in OT. Ducks over to Sens, 5-1. Lightning over to Habs, 6-3. Kings over to Devils, 2-1. Blues over to Oilers, 6-3. Stars over to Preds, 9-2. Pens over to Blackhawks, 4-1. Sharks over to Flames, 6-3. Canucks over to Red Wings, 4-1. Only one game tonight, 9 o'clock on the NHL Network. It's Hurricanes, Coyotes. Um... The Rangers are starting to pull away from the Canes and the Metro. So this is a big game for Carolina. They're minus 196. That Coyotes are plus 162. Over under 6.5. Over is plus 104. There's minus 128. Canes minus 1.5 is plus 125. Coyotes plus 1.5 is minus 150. I'm going to take the over. Saturday's a big day in the league. Um, triple header on ABC. How awesome is that? 12.30 of the Kings at the Bruins. On ABC, 3 o'clock on ABC, Oilers Stars, two really good games. 3 o'clock, uh, just regularly, Sens Blackhawks, 4 o'clock, Red Wings Flames, 5 o'clock, Panthers Lightning, Preds Blues, um, Sabres Wild, 7 o'clock, Ducks Leafs, Caps Habs, and the big one, 8 o'clock, ABC from MetLife Stadium, Flyers, Devils. The Devils return to the Meadowlands after... Moving from there in 2007. And I think that crowd is going to be ruckus. And there's a line for this. Uh, the Devils are favored minus 154. The Flyers are plus 128 over under 6.5. Overs plus 110. Unders minus 134. Flyers plus 1.5 is minus 192. Devils minus 1.5 is plus 158. The Devils are playing a lot better over the past couple weeks. Um, They've gotten themselves into position... Are they in the wild card right now? No, they're two back. They are they put themselves back into position to make the postseason. Um, although they did lose their last game, but I think they were looking ahead to this game, personally. I think it was like a trap game for them. So I'm going to take the over 6.5 and a half at plus 110. Then maybe I'll same game parlay that with Devils in regulation at minus 105. And then 10 o'clock Jets, Canucks, 10.30 Canes, Golden Knights, and Sh- Sharks hosting the Blue Jackets. And then Sunday, 3 o'clock on ABC and ESPN Plus, Rangers Islanders from MetLife Stadium. This is an Islanders home game. You know the NHL will never make the Rangers a home team in an outdoor game. Never. And you know that because a couple years ago, the Winter Classic was at City Field. It was Rangers Sabres, but the Sabres were the home team, which was absolutely ridiculous. If you want to make the Sabres the home team in a Winter Classic, make the game at the Bills Stadium. So the league obviously has clear favoritism towards the Rangers and will never give up one home game at Madison Square Garden. Um, but, but it will be a Ranger home game because there's going to be more Ranger fans there than Islander fans. The Rangers are minus 152. The Isles are plus 126. Over under 5.5. Over is minus 106. Under is minus 114. Rangers minus 1.5 is plus 168. Isles plus 1.5 is minus 25. Rangers going for 7 straight. They did not play well against Montreal last night. They were looking ahead to this game. They won because of their opponent, not because of them. Um, And Chris Kreider had a hat trick, so you got to give credit where credit's due a little bit. Um... But the Islanders are way better than the uh, um, the uh, the Habs. The Isles are three back in the playoffs. This is another game the Islanders have to win. But the Rangers are red hot. They're undefeated in outdoor games as a franchise. I think that continues. So my play is going to be the Rangers. I want to say the Rangers in regulation. At plus 105. But I think this game might go to overtime. So instead I'm going to play the over. Because the Rangers defensively have not been very good lately. I'm going to say over 5 and a half goals minus 106. But I think um, the Rangers win. I don't. I parlay that with Rangers money line. Not Rangers and reg. I just do Rangers money line. The same thing with the other game. I parlay Devils money line. And although Devils and regulations enticing. But I would do over and Devils money line too not one 
And then 6 o'clock on Sunday, Kings, Penguins, and Coyotes, Avs. All right, now move on to college basketball. Um, we will go over the results from yesterday and look ahead to tonight and the weekend. UMBC over Binghamton, 89-78. Stony Brook over Hampton, 93-73. Rutgers over Northwestern, 63-60. App State over Marshall, 73-58. Number 24, FAU over Temple, 80-68. ESME over Te- Tulane. 87-79, ECU over Wichita, 68-55, Charlotte over UTSA, 79-70, Towson over William & Mary, 61-52, UNC Wilmington over NCAT, 73-54, Drexel over Hofstra, 79-77, Elon over Delaware, 73-67, Charleston over Northeastern, 77-73, Monmouth over Campbell, 88-87, Lemoyne over Central Con, 69-64 in OT, Fairley Dickinson over LIU, 84-82 in OT, Mary Mack over Stonehill, 66-63. Wagner over St. Fran PA, 63-63 in overtime, or 65-63. Louisiana over Old Dominion, 68-60. Coastal Carolina over Georgia Southern, 82-75. Vermont over New Hampshire, 70-54. Bryan over Maine, 77-72. Albany over NGIT, 83-58. LaTeX over Jacksonville State, 63-58. Western Kentucky over UTEP, 90-80. Ab Christian over Texas Rio Grande, 87-79. St. Houston over FIU, 70-56. MTSU over New Mexico State, 76-69. North Texas over Memphis, 76-66. Winthrop over Radford, 85-69. Little Rock over Moorhead State, 69-68. South Alabama over Texas State, 72-55. JMU over Georgia State, 83-63. Omaha over South Dakota, 91-84. UMKC over South Dakota State, 72-67. North Dakota State over Oral Roberts, 73-60. Charleston State over Texas Arlington, 80-78. Number two, Purdue over Minnesota, 84-76. Western Illinois over 10 Tech, 62-55. Tennessee Martin over Southern Indiana, 77-68. SAU Edwards over Lindenwood, 91-63. Eastern Illinois over Southeast Missouri, 75-57. Neil Monroe over Southern Miss, 68-59. Arkansas State over Troy, 82-71. Austin Peay over Central Arkansas, 77-67. Seattle over Southern Utah, 78-68. North Alabama over Lipscomb, 75-70. Washington over Stanford, 85-65. UCLA over Colorado, 64-68, Loyola Merriman loses to Gonzaga at home, 91-74. North Dakota over Denver, 92-78. Grand Canyon over Utah Tech, 73-61. Long Beach State over UC Davis, 78-74. Northern Arizona over Sac State, 73-58. Weber State over Idaho, 70-69. Eastern Washington over Idaho State, 88-82. Wazoo over Cal, 84-65, so best bet one. Santa Clara over Pacific, 79-53. San Diego over Portland. 71-66. Utah Valley for Cal Baptist, 69-46. Um, Cal Poli loses at home to Hawaii, 80-51. Northridge over Bakersfield, 76-71. Santa Barbara over UC San Diego. Or, I'm sorry, UCSD over UCSB, 61-46. I read that wrong. Sorry, guys. Riverside over Fullerton, 81-73. Portland State over North Car- Northern Colorado, 82-72 in OT. Number 18, St. Mary's over Pepperdine, 103.59, and USC over Utah, 68.64. All right, tonight's slate, we have 14 games. Um, so 6 o'clock, Harvard, Cornell. My line's Cornell, 7.9, total 150 and a fifth. And it's 8.5 and, and 158.5, and under. That's way too high. Um, CBS Sports Network, 7 o'clock, Villanova, Georgetown. My line is Villanova, 4.5, total 143 and 9 tenths, and it is 10.5 and 139.5. Um, that's way too many points. Give me Georgetown and the points. Sienna, St. Peter's, Million St. Peter's by 9, total 132. And it's 9.5 and 125.5. And I like the over. Mount St. Mary's, Ryder, my line is Ryder, 1.8, total 145. And it is one and a half, and in favor of Mount St. Mary's total one forty five and a half. So give me um Ryder plus one and a half in the money line. Manhattan Iona, my line's Iona twelve point nine total one forty five, and it's thirteen and a half and one forty five and a half. Um, very close numbers, slight lean Manhattan in the points. Niagara Fairfield, my line is um Fairfield six point six total one forty seven and three fifths. And we have um 
Six and a half and one forty six and a half. Um very close again, slight over. Canisius Marist. My line is Marist six point six, so one thirty six and three tenths. And it's four and a half and one thirty three and a half. Um over. Um Dartmouth, Columbia. My line is Columbia seven half total one thirty eight and eleven twentieths, and it's nine and a half and one thirty five and a half. I'll take Dartmouth to cover. Yale Penn. My line's Yale five point eight total one forty four and a quarter. And it's six and a half and one thirty seven half. Um over. Brown Princeton. So three games being played in the state of New Jersey tonight. Um Princeton eleven point three total one forty two and three twentieths. And Princeton is giving twelve and a half total. 141 and a half. Ooh, that's close. Um, so I am going to do slight lean brown, the cover. Jacksonville, Queens. My line is um, Queens 1.7, total 152 and 13 twentieths. And it's two and a half and 150 and a half. Um, slight over. North Florida, Kennesaw State, man's Kennesaw 5.7, total in 59 and 19 twentieths. And it's 2.5 and 164 and a half. Um, under um, ESPNU, 9 o'clock, Ohio, Toledo, minus Toledo, 3.6, total 154 and 19 twentieths. And it's 5.5 and, and 160 and a half. Under, and last but not least, New Mexico, San Diego State, 10 o'clock, Fox Sports, one minus San Diego State, 2.9, total 49 and a fifth. And it's 6.5 and, and 152 and a half. Um, I'm going to take New Mexico to cover. Notable Saturday games. It's 12 o'clock. Texas Tech at number 10, Iowa State. ESPN, Texas A&M at number 15, Alabama. ESPN 2, Wake at number 21, Virginia. ESPN U, TCU, Kansas State. Big 10, Eric, Penn State, Nebraska. Fox, 1230. Number 17, Creighton at Butler. USA Network, Richmond, George Washington. 1 o'clock on CBS, Texas at number 3, Houston. SEC Network, Florida, Georgia. Um... 1.30 CBS Sports Network, Fordham at number 16, Dayton. 2 o'clock on the ACC Network, Virginia Tech at number 7, North Carolina. 2 o'clock ESPN, number 9, Duke at Florida State. Number 19, BYU, Oklahoma State. Um, ESPNU, Arkansas at Mississippi State. UMass LaSalle. Bucknell Colgate. Um, Sanford Mercer. 215 Big Ten Network, number 20 Wisconsin at Iowa, 230 on USA, St. Joseph to Kane, 3 o'clock on Fox, number 4 Marquette at number 1 UConn. That is a marquee matchup in the Big East. Rice, Tulsa, Vermont, Maine, FIU, La Tech, New Mexico State, Western Kentucky, 330 SEC Network, LSU at number 11, South Carolina, CBS Sports Network at 330, Davidson, St. Bonaventure, Texas State, Southern Miss. 4 o'clock on ESPN, number 6, Kansas, and number 25, Oklahoma. ACC, Derek, Miami, BC. Cincinnati, UCF. Um, um, Hawaii, Santa Barbara. Um, Louisiana, App State at 430. That's a good Sun Belt game. Um, Yo Monroe at Troy. A good big sky game, Weber State, Eastern Washington, 530 on Fox, number 14, Illinois at Maryland, CW, Syracuse at Georgia Tech, CBS Sports Arc, Utah State, Colorado State, 6 o'clock, SEC Network, Vandy at number 6, Tennessee, ESPN 2, number 12, Baylor at West Virginia, ESPN, number 22, Kentucky at number 13, Auburn, Pac-12 Network, Stanford, Wazoo, Dartmouth, Cornell, Harvard, Columbia, Georgia Southern, James Madison, Brown, Penn, UTEP, Middle Tennessee, it's 6.30, ACC, Eric Louisville, Pitt. 7 o'clock, number 23, Indiana State at Southern Illinois. Radford, High Point. Um, UNC, Greensboro, Wofford. Georgia State, Old Dominion. Um, 7.30, CBS Sports, Eric, Fresno State, Boise State. Fox Sports 1, DePaul, Providence. Um, Liberty, Sam Houston. CW, 7.45, NC State, Clemson. 8 o'clock on the Pac-12, Cal, Washington. 
on Fox, Michigan State, Michigan. So four college basketball games on Fox. When do you ever see that? ESPN2, Yale, Princeton. That's a really good Ivy League game. Um, also at 8 o'clock, you have Cal Baptist, Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon's an at-large candidate. We got to keep an eye on them. Them and in Sanford, who we talked about earlier. Indiana State, too, but um, they took a hit this week. Um, 8.30, SC Sarek, Missouri at Ole Miss. Um, 9 o'clock, San Fran, Loyal, Maramont, Pacific, Gonzaga. Um, 9.30, Arizona State at number 5, Arizona. On ESPN, Colorado, USC. Pac-12 Dark, Oregon State hosting Oregon. Wyoming, San Jose State, Santa Clara, San Diego. Portland, Pepperdine at 11.30, Nevada, UNLV. And then Sunday, 12 o'clock, ESPN, number 24, FAO, South Florida. That is an outstanding game. ESPN 2, Wichita, Charlotte. CBS Sports, Eric Loyal, Chicago, Roy, and Rhode Island. Um, CBS at 1 o'clock, number 2, Purdue at Ohio State. St. Peter's, Iona, 2 o'clock, UTSA, Temple. Tulane, East Carolina, ESPN 2, Bradley, Northern Iowa. Murray State, Drake. Belmont, UIC. Ryder, Manhattan, Niag- Niagara, Knipiak. Mount St. Mary's, Fairfield, Kenesha, Siena, CBS Sports Arc, Chattanooga, Furman, 3 o'clock, North Texas, UAB, Evansville, Illinois State, on Fox Sports 1, Northwestern, Indiana, 4 o'clock, ESPN, Memphis, FSMU, 5 o'clock, Fox Sports 1, Seton Hall, St. John's, from UBS, um, 6.30, Big Ten, Rutgers, Minnesota, and 7 o'clock on Fox Sports 1, Utah, at UCLA. Okay, now we'll move on to soccer. Um, we will go over the notable results from yesterday real quick and look ahead to a busy day today. So, EuroLeague. Um, we have to go over... Um, some of those scores. Um, Galatasaray, Sparta. Galatasaray wins 3-2. Shakhtar, Martial 2-2 two, two draw. Sporting over Young Boys 3-1. Fain, Ordeus, Roma, Wawa draw. Lenz, Freiburg, 0-0 nil, nil, draw. Milan over Rennes 3-0. FK, Karabag over Braga 4-2. And Benficio over Toulouse 2-1. And then we have to do the Conference League real quick. So we will go over those results too. Molde over Legia Warsaw 3 2. Olympiakos over Fern Carvos 1 0. SK Strumgrass over Slovan Bratislava 4 1. Union SG and Eintracht Frankfurt 2 2 draw. Ajax Amsterdam and Bodo Glimpse 2 2 draw. Maccabi Haifa over. KAA Gent 1 0. Dynamo Zagreb over Real Batiste 1 0. And Servette and Ludogorets Razard 0 0 draw. And then, um, CONCACAF Champions Cup, Herodiano over Toluca 3 2. And Monteri over Kamushi Kanon is 3 0. Um, so we have a lot of soccer today. Um, the women's super league today, two fifteen. you have Chelsea and Man City. That is some game between those two today. So I want to touch on that. Um, for some reason it's not on here. I'm going to say Chelsea wins at home. Saturday, 7.30 a.m., Arsenal, Man United. And then Sunday, 7 o'clock, Brighton, Liverpool, Everton, West Ham at 8. 9, Tottenham, Austin Villa, and Tensley, sister, Bristol City. Serie A today, 1 o'clock, Torino, Lecce. Um, Torino, minus 130, Lecce, 4 to 1, the draws, plus 230. Over 2 and a half goals, plus 136. And then 3 o'clock, Inter Milan, and Cylinder, Tana. Inter's minus 850, Cylinder, Tana's 15 to 1, the draws, 7 to 1. I like over three and a half goals plus 116. 
Saturday, 9 o'clock, Napoli, Genoa, 12 o'clock, Verona, Juventus, 2.45, Adelana, Sassuolo. Sunday, 6.30, Lazio, Bologna, 9 o'clock, Empoli, Fiorentina. Udinese, Cagliari, 12 o'clock, Frosinone, AS Roma, and Monza, Milan, 2.45. Era Devisey, 2 o'clock, PSV and Heraclis. Um, so I'm going to pull up those odds really quick. Um, PSV is minus 2200. Heraclis is 24 to 1. The draw is 12 to 1. I'm going to do under 3.5 goals at plus 124. Saturday, 12.45, Fortuna AZ Elkmar. Spartak's Glazier, 3 o'clock, Canarvine, Go at Eagles, and PEC Zwelle in Elmeri City. Sunday, 6.15, FC20 and FC Utrecht, 8.30, Ajax, NEC, Vitesse, FC Voldenham, and 10.45, Feyenoord, and RKC, Waldwick. Bundesliga, 2.30, Cologne and Bremen. Um, Cologne... Plus 145, Bremen plus 185, the draws plus 220. I'm going to go with Bremen at plus 185. Saturday, 9th, Heidenheim, Leverkusen, Mainz, Augsburg, Darmstadt, Stuttgart, Hoffenheim, New Berlin, Wolfsburg, Dortmund, and 1230 RP, Leipzig, and Gladbach. Sunday, 930, Freeburg, Frankfurt, and 1130, Bochum, Bayern. The English League Championship today, it's 3 o'clock, you have West Brom. And Southampton. Um, Southampton plus 135. West Brom plus 195. The draws plus 240. I'm going to go with Southampton plus 135. And then Saturday's a big slate. Um, 7.30 Plymouth leads. 10 o'clock Birmingham Sutherland. Bristol City KPR. Huddersfield Hull. Lee Sister Borough. Moel Sheffield Wednesday. North City's Cardiff. Preston Blackburn. Rotherham Watford. Still Coventry. And Swansea Imp Switch. French League 1, 3 o'clock, Lyon and Nice. Um, Lyon plus 155, Nice plus 185, the draws plus 210. I'm going to go with Lyon and plus 155 at home. Saturday, 11 o'clock, Lille and the Havre AC, 3 o'clock, Nantes PSG. Sunday, 7 o'clock, Strasbourg, Lorient, Monaco, Toulouse, Montpellier, Metz. Rens claim off foot, 11 o'clock, Reims lens, and 2.45, Brest Marcial. La Liga, 3 o'clock this afternoon, Villarreal and Getafe. Um, Villarreal minus 105, Getafe plus 290, draw plus 240. I'm going to go with Villarreal at home, minus 105. <clears throat> Saturday, 8 o'clock, Atletico Las Palmas, 10.15, Osasuna Cadiz, 12.30, Excel Vigo, Barcelona, and 3 o'clock, Valencia, Sevilla. Sunday, 8 o'clock, Real, Real, uh, Real, Real Madrid, 10.15, Granada, Almeria, 12.30, Mallorca, Real Sociedad, and 3 o'clock, Batiste, and Alaves. Um, English Premier League this weekend. Tomorrow, 7.30, Brentford, Liverpool, 10 o'clock, Burnley, Arsenal, Fulham, Elston Villa, Newcastle, Bournemouth, Nottingham Forest, West Ham, Tottenham Wolves, 12.30, Man City, Chelsea. And then Sunday, 9 o'clock, Sheffield United, Brighton, and 11.30, Zuton, and Man United. And Liga MX, tonight at 8 o'clock, you have Quirotaro and Nacoxa. Quirotaro plus 135, Nacoxa plus 195, the draws plus 220. I'm going to go with the draw plus 220. And then 10 o'clock, you have Mazatlan and Guadalajara. Mazatlan plus 260, Guadalajara minus 105, the draws plus 240. I'm going with Guadalajara at minus 105. They've been hot. All right, Juarez Pueblo got postponed. 6 o'clock, Athletic San Luis and Tijuana. 8 o'clock, Pachuca America. And 10.05, Cruz Azul and Tigres. Sunday, 5 o'clock, Atlas Leon. 7 o'clock, Unam Santos. And 9 o'clock, Monterrey and Toluca. And I'm quickly going to check Scottish Premiership. So that's the one league we didn't do. All right, Saturday, 10 o'clock, Aberdeen. Um, Hibernian, Celtic, Kilmarnock, Dundee, Ross County, Hearts, Motherwell, and Livingston, St. Marin. And then Sunday at 7 a.m. is St. Johnstone Rangers. All right, now I'll move on to golf. Um, we'll look at the current 
leaderboard for the Genesis Open. First right now is 7 unders Patrick Cantlay, tied for second with 6 under Cam Davis, Luke Gliss, Jason Day, tied for fifth with 5 under Taylor Hogue, Jordan Spieth, Will Zell Torres, tied for eighth with 4 under Bian Ganad, Adam Spebson. Tied for 10th with Threader, Ludwig Gaberg, JT Potts, and, and B.U. Hostler, Brennan Todd, Scotty Scheffler. Tied for 15th with 2 under Charlie Hoffman, Lucas Glover, Harry English, um, Adam Hadwin, Tom Kim, Denny McCarthy, Christian Seaton Howe, Lucas Hodges, um, Hideki Matsuyama, Saiwoo Kim, Brian Harmon, Mackenzie Hughes, Taylor Moore. Tied for 28th with 1 under Ricky Henley. Emiliano Grillo, Corey Connors, Nicholas Hojard, Sam Burns, Victor Hovland, Nate Taylor, Gary Woodland, Tony Finau, um, Nick Dunlap, Ricky Fowler, Kurt Katayama, Xander Shoffley, Tommy Fleetwood, Colin Morikawa. Tied for 43rd at even. Sanjay M, Keegan Bradley, Gate, uh, Grayson Murray, Adam Putnam, Wyndham Clark, Patrick Rogers. Now we have to do notables. Tied for 49th with one over. Ben Griffin, Chris Kirk, Justin Thomas, Tiger, Cam Young, um, Sam Ryder, Matt Kujar, Cynthia, Taylor Montgomery, Adam Scott, AJ Spons, tied for 60th to two over with Seb Straka, Eric Cole, Adam Shank, Max Homa. Um, Adam Shank's actually tied for 64th to three over with Seamus Power and Rory McIlroy. Tied for 67th to four over Matt Fitzpatrick and CAU. And tied for 69th to five over Alex Bolly and Nate Hardy. So, um, interesting tournament to follow with Tigers present. Um, NASCAR, um, we have a lot of races this weekend. Um, last night was the um, the vacation duels. Um, Tyler Riddick won one, and Chris Bell won the other. So tonight, seven thirty on Fox Sports One from Daytona, the Next Era Energy Two Hundred and Fifty. It's the trucks. Um, we do have. Um, it's weird. We don't have the Daytona 500 on FanDuel, but we have the Xfinity race. So we have to go to DraftKings for odds. Um, so the truck race 730 on Fox Sports 1 tonight. Should be a really good race. Um, so, my pick for this race, the Fresh from Florida 250, Next Era Energy. There's a lot of different drivers, um, but I'm going to go with somebody that was good last year. He's 11-1 to win this race, and that's Ty Majeski. Xfinity tomorrow at five o'clock from Daytona. Um, the United Reynolds three hundred. I believe Austin Hill won this race last year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there's some big names in this race. I'm gonna pick somebody that has good odds. He almost won it last year. He's twelve to one, and that's Justin Allager. And then the Daytona 500, 2.30 on Fox from Daytona. Should be a lot of fun. Um, I see a lot of guys that are overvalued on the board here. Um, Ricky Stenhouse won this last year, which was crazy. Bubba Wallace came close. He's 18-1. to This is the race where you have to pick somebody with value. I really don't think one of the favorites are going to win. I just don't. Ryan Blaney, maybe? But Denny Hamlin, this is not his best track. Like, why is he up there for odds? Jimmy Johnson's racing in this thing. He's 60 to 1. That's really funny. Um, 
But I think this could be a breakout moment for somebody like um, Chase Briscoe, who's 55 to 1, Austin Sindrick, who's 35 to 1. God, I regret not having um, Jeff Maglicetti on this week, but maybe next week we'll get him on to talk some uh, NASCAR. He's our NASCAR expert. Um, He's our expert at a lot of things, though. Um, Just staring at the board. Um, but I'm surprised that a lot of these guys' odds are this good. But you know who's good at Daytona? Chase Elliott. He's 14-1. to 1. Let's go with Chase Elliott. 14-1 to 1 to win the Daytona 500. Do I feel good about it? No. But, I like I said earlier, I think one of those long shots can absolutely win it. But I think Chase Elliott 14-1 to 1 is a good bet. Okay, American Idol starts this weekend. 8 o'clock ABC Sunday night. The same cast of characters are back. Ryan Seacrest, Katy Perry, um, Lionel Richie, Luke Bryan. Um, obviously, the last several years have been great. Um, we had... Um, Hunter Girl, who was awesome from a couple years ago. She did not win, but she absolutely should have won. Um, Ian Tongi won last year. He was outstanding. Noah Thompson won two years ago. That was the, the Hunter Girl. When Hunter Girl was robbed, I thought. But season 22 is coming up. Should be a lot of fun. So, um, the auditions were held in Leesburg, Georgia, Tuskegee, Alabama, Santa Barbara, California, and L.A. and Nashville. Um, it's funny because they actually had um, one of the auditions at a high school. That's weird. They usually have it on a college campus or at a convention center or something like that. So the first three episodes are auditions, which are this week, next week, and on Sunday, March 3rd. Um, so um, something I didn't know until now is that uh, this is going to be the final season for Katy Perry, who, um, who announced her departure... Um, this year, very recently. So that is very sad for the show. Um, So she announced it on Jimmy Kimmel Live literally this week. She goes, I think this probably will be my last show, my last season for Idol. She goes, I mean, I love Idol so much. I know it's connected me with the heart of America but I feel like I need to go out and feel the pulse of to my own beat. You know what I'm saying, Jimmy? Did she was on Kimmel and announced this? So she must want to like make more albums and make more music, and that's really sad because I think she's wonderful and Idol. But we'll speculate over the next several months who may replace her. But um, these this group has been together since the move to ABC. So, um, this is surprising news. This actually caught me off guard. So, um, yeah, it should be a fun season of Idol. Looks like the first three episodes are auditions. Probably uh, the first, usually the first five are auditions. But we'll talk about all the contestants on Monday's podcast. Okay, rapid fire news and notes. Um, I say rapid fire because... Um, there's a lot that we have to talk about. Um, so the Liberty resigned Joe Quell, John Quell Jones. Um, so that's big for the Liberty. Um, Shaq says the Bucks can get swept in the playoffs and that they're not a contender and Barkley agreed. Um, 
And then um, Doc Rivers criticized the team after the loss. Um, so, Clay Thompson got benched as uh, Podzemski started against the Jazz. Um, PJ Tucker got fined seventy five grand for the trade demand. Brian Cashman says that Shohei Otani never offered the Yankees a deferred contract option. So, they were after Otani, it sounds like. So, that's interesting. Um, but Brian Cashman, I feel like, has been a liar the last, like, half decade or so. So, don't always believe what Brian says. Um... And that could go in either good or bad. Um, Cole said, or Garrett Cole says that last season was a disaster. As he hopes the Yankees 2023 will serve as motivation. Uh, but the big story from yesterday is that Caitlin Clark breaks Kelsey Plum's record as women's college basketball's all-time leading scorer. That's a nice record to have, and she might be on her way to, for the all-time record in passing men's, which would be really, really impressive. And she has a new career high as well, and the program's single-game scoring record. She's just a star, and she's so fun to watch. Um, so Isaiah Stewart actually got arrested for the Drew Eubanks punch. As he issued citation and got released after punching uh, um, Eubanks before that game. Um, so EA NCAA 25 is a thing as it's the first college football video game in 11 years. Connor Bedard came back for the Blackhawks last night against the Pens. The other big story from yesterday is that Rob Manfred is to step down in 2029 as he announced his plans to end his tenure in five years. So now all the uh, speculation begins on who's going to replace him. There are uniform complaints reaching the Players Association of Baseball Players Union involved after blowback around Nike and Fanatics jerseys. The Bucks signed Danilo Gallinari, so that's a good pickup for um, a buyout guy. The MLB wants de- December free agency as Manfred per- uh, prefers free agency period with two weeks of Flurried activity and deadline. That's awesome. That is really awesome. So we don't have any situations like we have right now with Blake Snell not having a team or Jordan Montgomery not having a team. And let's face it, both of those guys are going to get off the slow starts this year for whomever they play for because they're not signed. They should have been signed already. The Brewers to keep Devin Williams and Willie Adamas so at least they're keeping some players for right now. Geno Smith to get a $12.7 million bonus as he'll receive the roster bonus today. Um, the Blue Jackets fire Jarmo Kukalainen. Um That came out of nowhere. Now the Blue Jackets are searching for a new general manager. And Mbappe is leaving PSG as he informs their club president he'll exit as a free agent this summer. So that's a big loss for PSG. All right, last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, There's a lot of options on the board, but I'm actually going to go into soccer. And I'm going to go to Liga MX. There's a red-hot team. That is a short number on the road. And that team is Guadalajara. How are they only minus 105? I'm going to lay a quarter unit on this. And I'm going to do Guadalajara 
minus 105 on the money line against Mazelton FC for my best bet of the day. So there you have it for the show. I'll be back on Monday recapping everything and looking ahead to everything on Monday. Hope you guys have a great day, everybody.